Hello, I'm Rowena Harris-Doughty and welcome to LCG's look ahead to the key events in markets for the week starting January the 30th of 2017. So last week was one of celebration in the market as the Dow Jones, or Wall Street as traded with LCG, finally cracked the 20,000 mark for the first time ever. Now this was in keeping with our analysis of the Wall Street chart in last week's Week Ahead video. We said the low volatility cannot last and will inevitably lead to a breakout, and that the uptrend and RSI, not an, an extreme, would suggest a potential topside break. Now, our other focus last week was the British pound. While most remained very bearish on sterling when looking at the pound dollar, we said the sharp move higher on Tuesday the 17th has the hallmarks of a game changer that could see the downtrend shift into a neutral range between 120 and 127. Now, the high for last week was 126.70, so we would expect this range to hold for the time being. Looking ahead to this week, we have a busy economic calendar with three central bank meetings as well as non-farm payrolls. Now it's the Bank of Japan on Tuesday, the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, the Bank of England including the quarterly inflation report on Thursday and then of course the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Now US corporate earnings are also in full flow with quarterly reports from the likes of Exxon, Apple, Facebook and Amazon. Now, none of the three central banks are expected to change monetary policy, but with inflation on the rise globally as oil prices recover, markets will be looking for the central banks to acknowledge this as a sign they are turning more hawkish. Now, the US dollar rose steeply towards the end of last year on expectations that the Federal Reserve would be the first in impending the tightening cycle. For example, it would start raising rates first. Now, since the rate hike in December, the dollar has pulled back, so this week could be a key decider as to whether the dollar uptrend resumes or whether the pullback becomes a trend reversal. Now, with the Bank of Japan, Federal Reserve and non-farm payrolls on tap, we thought it would be appropriate to take a look at the dollar-yen pair. Now, it can be seen that the 100-day moving average was a dynamic source of resistance in the last downtrend. Dollar-yen has been pulling back from its strong uptrend, but while it remains above the 100-day moving average, we expect further gains. Now, support currently lies at 112.50, the 38% Fibonacci retracement and a bullish RSI divergence suggest it could hold, leading to a break of resistance near 115. That's it from the LCGs at Week Ahead. Thank you very much for watching and good luck trading this week.